One of the hardest things for people to do during speeches is for them to create a presentation that will fulfill the standards for listening and speaking standard five. That's your visual aid. The first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open a new slideshow now and name it the same as your topic. Notice I'm naming mine Claudette Colvin. Then I want you to go ahead and choose a theme. Notice it has tons of themes over here to choose from. You're going to choose one that you think will reflect your person. You can always change backgrounds and stuff later if you'd like. The nice thing about choosing a theme is that it allows your slideshow to look more uniform and not be so confusing with a bunch of bright colors that don't match and don't go together. Make sure you put your name down here so that way we know who this is straight off the top. It'll help us with listening sheets. Now when you go to add a new slide, you just click on new slide. It will default to this style and that's okay because you can move it around from there. First, use those essential questions from your outline. So my first paragraph on my outline was my introduction. So I want to put something on here that goes with my introduction. I started off with the quote from Claudette about Africa. So I'm going to put, be proud of who you are. Now, in all reality, I shouldn't have to put any other words on this. So I am actually going to delete that box. Then I am going to insert an image. Now, if I just search under my images, then I can search for Tarzan because that's one of the things that she said. Here are some different pictures of Tarzan. I can choose any one of them, except for I want to make sure I choose something that's appropriate, or at least more so. I'm not seeing a uh, cartoony version, although that is my favorite Tarzan, is the cartoon version. So I will just choose this one of him banging on his chest, because that reminds me a lot of the Tarzan that I grew up around. See, he even killed the lion and everything. Next, I'm going to insert another picture because she said to be proud of her African heritage. So I'm going to look for pictures of Africa. Well, that's not exactly what I was going for. So how can I change my search term? I'm going to put African culture. Maybe that'll give me something. Sorry, this is running a little bit slow. It slows down when I'm recording. So notice we have masks and dancing and all sorts of other things. I really like this picture right here to show African heritage. So I'm going to put this on. Now, when I do my speech, all I'm going to have is these two pictures. These will help me to remember that she wanted to be proud of who she was. Can I have fun with it and put some transitions and things like that? Absolutely. All I have to do is go to slide and I can change the transition. Now I want that picture to fade in and then I, oh, I see the slides fading in. I want that picture to fade in. I want that picture to fade in, but I really want the Tarzan one to come on first. So I'm going to do that. Now, what this allows me to do is when I give my speech, I'll start at my title sh slide and I'll say my speech is on Claudette Colvin. My name is Shay Brunson. Right here, I will give the quote and I will make sure that the Tarzan one comes up first. So I can say, you know, people thought Africa meant Tarzan 
It was a very negative image. It just shows somebody who's savage. But in truth, I wanted us to be proud of who we are and our culture and have this picture fade in next. That will happen on those clicks. Okay, now that you're ready to insert a new slide, you're going to figure out what your next topic is. Now looking back at this, my second paragraph is going to be my second slide, unless my second paragraph needs more than one slide. So it's all about who is Claudette Colvin. Remember those essential questions you did? Those work out perfect as titles on these slides. Now, the rule of thumb is five words or less. You can caption pictures, but do not just put a bunch of words on your slides. We do not want to read your presentation. So I am going to take this and I'm going to copy it and put it into my presentation right here. Wait a minute, Mrs. Brunson, didn't you just say that you want us to not do that? Yeah, I don't want you to have the words in. But what I want you to do is I want you to look at what's here and as you put something in on a picture, I want you to delete it from here so you know you covered everything. So she was a hero in the fight against segregation. She was born in Montgomery. She earned mostly A's. Well, I can insert an image of Montgomery, Alabama. Ooh, I, looks like I spelled that wrong. Wonder if it'll come up. Hey, look at that. It even came up with the city flag. Oh, it says it was in an unsupported format. That's okay. I can still find something else. Oh, look at what a great way to do it. I can have that county map pop up. Now, doesn't have to be huge, just needs to be there. And I'll organize the slide in a minute. So I take that off. She earned mostly A's in her classes and even aspired to become president someday. Like an insert, an image of president, maybe the president's seal. There we go. Ooh, I like that president's seal better. Okay. Um, that's this part right here. And I think I want to do a picture of her. The rest of it I can get from my cards. But I think the other thing I really want is a picture of Claudette. Make sure you type in names correctly. They don't always pop up. So that's a picture of Claudette, who is, which is a very common picture to show of her. So then if I look at this as I'm giving my speech, I can have this picture pop in first and I can say Claudette Colvin was an unsung hero of the revolution. She was born on September 5th, 1939 in Montgomery, Alabama. That's right here. As she was going to school, she had A's and aspired to become president of the United States one day. She was pretty smart, but she made some silly decisions. She ended up getting pregnant and that's what kept her from becoming Rosa Parks and being the leader of the bus revolution. May or may not say it exactly that way, but do you see how those pictures can pop up and support? I do not need to have all my words here. Once again, to put in animation, I'm going to close that tab so you can see it again. Go to format, oops, slide, go to slide, go to change transition, and add animation. See how there's a blue line around that picture? That has the little thumbnail right here, and you can decide how you want it to come in. Once again, add animation, add animation. They'll come in in order. And if I play it, it starts like this. Then when I click, click again, click again. OK, 
okay? Now, if you want to transition from slide to slide, let's see, I'm going to try cubing. Now, if I play that, notice it starts off with the previous slide. I want to try that again. See how it turns it like a cube? Now I can slow that down if I want it to go a little bit slower. I can slow that down. Okay, if I don't like it, I can change it right here. But this is when you're transitioning from one slide to the next slide. Other things to think about, you can change background colors and everything else. You can add shapes. Have fun with it, but get your content first. What pictures do you need in order to make sure that you are giving a good speech?